So a lot of you may know that I travel with my horses a lot. I've traveled a lot, especially with Lynx, my uh, little gray Mustang. It might be a cool video idea to give a few tips on traveling with horses, especially for long hauls that I've kind of picked up along the way. I've had a lot of questions recently of people asking for hauling tips, so I figured if I just put them all in one place, uh, it might be easier that way. I do have a list on my phone of everything I kind of want to cover. I'm gonna start with truck and trailer maintenance. That's like one of the most important things. You just need to make sure everything is fully functional and safe and up to date. So I make sure to stay up to date on all my oil changes about every 5,000, 6,000 miles. I check my tires frequently. I actually just got new tires on my truck and I got new tires on my trailer probably about a month ago. A really helpful tool to have is, I believe they're called trailer aids there to change your horse trailer tires and you just drive up onto them or back onto them depending on if it's the front or back tire. I did have a bent axle on my trailer at one point so I did have to change my tire like three times on one trip so I got pretty good at changing trailer tires. I do grease the hitch every time before I haul. I do have a little can of grease in my tack room. You should know your route. Like for me, when I go through a certain part of New Mexico, I know there's not gas stations for a while. So regardless of how much I have left, I know when that last gas station is and I go and fill up there just in case. But typically if I'm on like, if I'm on a highway that's pretty busy and there's a lot of places to go off at, I fill up at about a quarter of a tank. Make sure you're really good at backing up your trailer. I've learned to parallel park with my trailer. Um, I know how to get into very tight slots. Horses can be picky when they're drinking on the road. They might not like the taste of water from one location versus another. Most gas stations have pumps that you can get water at. For me, I always fill up a nice big five gallon jug and have that in my trailer with me at all times when I travel. Um, so like from Florida, I know he drinks the water here, so I'll fill it up from the barn water here. That usually lasts until we get to our next stop and then I'm able to fill up. So I always keep water with me just in case. If you don't want to do that or don't have the option, what you can do is start putting Gatorade in the water at home. So then when you get water from a new place and you put the same flavored Gatorade in there, they should taste pretty similar. Make sure you have a bucket easy to access in your tack room. For me, my tack room is a mess because I practically live out of my truck and trailer, but I always make sure I have a bucket right near the front that is empty and clean and easy and ready to use. I actually have a picky drinker. Lynx is my picky drinker. He does not like drinking on the road. What I actually use is this stuff called Winnie water and he really likes it. It's worked pretty much every single time I've given it to him. You know, I'd have to look at the ingredients. I will include a clip of it in here. Um, that helps me keep him hydrated on the road because horses can get dehydrated very easily while traveling. It's important to make sure that they're getting their water intake. As far as feed goes, um, I do not grain on the morning of travel days, mainly because I usually leave at 1 a.m. That's just my preferred time to leave at for big travel days. Grain can sometimes upset them if it's sitting in their stomach for long and uh, they're not eating enough hay or drinking enough water, so I prefer the mornings of travel to just not feed grain. So hay, always keep hay in front of your horse when you're traveling. I use Hay Chicks Hay Net. It doesn't really matter which hay net you use. Feed them whatever hay they're eating when they're not traveling, when they're at home. Um, keep their feed consistent. And uh, just as a general feeding tip, I like to feed oat hay or timothy, sometimes mixed with orchard, because that like stockier, coarser hay is really good for the horse's digestive system. So especially when traveling, that's good for them. Like I said, I do feed in a hay net, but if I'm hauling a totally feral horse, I will put a flake or two on the ground because I don't want them getting caught up in the hay net. Types of trailers or stalling or whatever it is. I travel with my stock trailer because I love having my big box stalls. Um, if I travel more than like five hours, I really like having my horses loose in the box stalls so they can put their heads down and cough and stretch and just move around even if it's just a little bit in there as opposed to a slant load where they're stuck in that little spot or a straight load where they're stuck in that spot. 
Um, I really do prefer my box stalls, which is why I also like to only travel with like a max of two horses at a time. That way they can each have their own stall uh, to be loose in. If I do tie them when I'm traveling, I tie with a breakaway halter. Cleaning the trailer. Before every trip, I make sure that it is stripped out, has new bedding in it, and is pretty much as clean as I can get it. We just traveled, so I didn't clean it out yet, but I will before our next trip. I will sometimes scrub the walls down if there's manure on the walls. I'm not going to talk about how to teach your horse to load in this video, but it's really important to have a very soft, easygoing loading horse. If you need to work on loading, it's really best to work on it when you're not in a rush to get somewhere. And then if you have a soft, quiet, easy loading horse, you can load up at 1 a.m. or noon or any time of day, it won't make a difference. I do like to keep my vents open on my trailer to allow airflow. If it is cold, instead of closing the vents and uh, putting fillers in there, they'll wear blankets. Um, but I do make sure to pay attention to the temperature and if the sun is out because it can heat up very quickly in a trailer. Sometimes halfway through the haul, I might have to take their blankets off to keep them from overheating. It's good to have spare halters and lead ropes on hand and again that trailer aid to change tires with. I do always have a pitchfork with me to clean out on the road. I do like to keep some extra things on hand just to have with me. I keep that on hand. I have a first aid kit back there too. It has vet wrap, gauze, syringes, all that good stuff. Make sure you check your route before you go. There are certain roads that you cannot have, um, you cannot have a trailer on, you will not fit under the bridges. I can't remember the word for these types of roads. Route 15 in Connecticut. I don't know, I'm gonna insert whatever road it is. Wait, nope, I can't remember it. You can wrap. For hauling for me i don't wrap especially for long hauls because it, it can decrease blood flow it can increase heat and uh, they could potentially get sores if the wraps are on for too long so i wouldn't say it's necessary to wrap um really up to you i don't do it another really important thing make sure your horse has current coggins current vaccines and you should have a health certificate regardless of where you go but especially you need one for going in or out of Florida, Texas, and California. Um, I believe there might be a fourth state somewhere that checks them. I feel like that covers a pretty good proportion of traveling with horses. Oh, ulcer guard. I do not keep links on it all the time, regardless that we're traveling a lot. He does have times of rest. It is super important to make sure your horse has enough time to rest after hauling and to just have rest days or weeks in general. No horse should be kept going 24 seven, traveling, doing a lot of stuff. He does do a lot of stuff, but I make sure he has enough rest days. Lynx does get ulcer guard. He gets one tube of it every time we travel. So he gets one the day before travel, the day of travel, and two days after travel. So he gets a quarter of a tube, adding up to one tube. And I try to stay pretty true to that. He is on a few other supplements um, that I believe help with his digestion and all his traveling. I will show you what those are. Yeah, hopefully this answers a couple different hauling questions that uh, some of you may have had. Lynx and I wish you safe, happy travels. <laughs>